Natural landscapes are an inherent part of the Australian experience, having shaped and influenced our modern national histories, stories, and identities. One particular image, which encapsulates this Australian motive, is Isaac Whitehead. 1870 oil on canvas, a sassafras Gaelic Gippsland, depicting a well-natural landscape. Views of, of this painting are presented with dominating sense of wildness as one takes in with all a scene illustrating enormous mountain as she rising up from a dense floor of chief and gullies. However, after closer inspection, we see that the role of pro Technist does not solely fall to this overtly natural landscape. Rather, it is shared with a cavalcade of European settlers who are traversing this dense forest floor with a cattle bullock car carrying a large load of cut timber. Their concealed presence speaks to the minimal impact humans had had on Chile's landscape at the time. What is more, it provides us with a contextual glimpse to how raw materials were sourced for the construction of early colonial Australian development. In fact, this painting is about a landscape and changed story about white settlement and urbanization. Godfrey Rivers' 1889 oil on canvas titled New South Head Road encapsulates the next chapter in this story about a changing landscape. The artist has captured a snapshot of the early colonial life along what is now one of Sydney's major thoroughfares, the New South Head Road located in the eastern suburbs. This painting takes its audience back in time to 19th century Sydney when unsealed roads and horse and carts constituted much of Australia's primary form of transport infrastructure. Interestingly, this image has managed to capture the architecture style of the period, illustrating examples of the timber and brick buildings which now enjoy heritage status. In contrast, the two artworks discussed here today provide quite different historical depictions of late 19th century history in Australia. The densely forested imagery produced by Whitehead seems almost alien compared to Rivers Perry urban settlement. However, they both communicate to their respective audiences a similar dialogue about the growth and expansionism of a European settlement. In essence, they serve as a reminder of the degree of impact white settlement has had on the natural landscape and the gradual steps which took place to create the urban centres we now reside.